All right. I kind of don't remember all the things that you taught me, but I'm going to look for the, the F. <laughs> and then I'm going to go from 3 to 1, and I'm going to try. Now, just to, again, a disclaimer, guys. I'm having difficulty getting the plane to cooperate to go into climb thrust, so hopefully it works. Last time I did the flap 3 takeoff, I almost died in the Gulf of Mexico. Here we go. Well, here's the thing. Before you go, once you're in flex and you see that on the FMA, yeah. once you see climb, just what I normally do, because you're right, sometimes with the FS lap, so the detents can be weird, I slowly pull back to climb. So maybe that will help you. Okay, I'll slowly turn back. I know that I can go flex with F4. I can, I can okay. cycle that out, but uh, bring, bringing it to climb thrust is where I don't know if I use F2 or F3. And then F2 is also reversers but yeah i think you have to hold it down for was what yeah, i do on the ground wait until thrust reduction altitude before bringing the flaps up That's correct right. yep wait until then okay so a lot of time okay all right well he's talking about flaps one to, to zero. Oh, to zero okay to yeah, bring it to bring in the slots slats yeah wait yep. no hold on let's let just confirm um with flaps three once he's above f speed guys he can retract one correct just want to make sure. Coffee's on the checklist. Here we go. Correct. Oh, he says, okay, correct. It's good. So once you're above F speed, go to flaps one and then follow the flight direct. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go. All right. So, uh, and I'm, I'm holding down the brakes. Okay. Let's take the, oh man, my nerves. You think I'm in a real plane with the nerves that are going, the heart, the Apple watch is saying, are you okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to hold the brakes. We're going to accelerate. How much are we going to bring that up to? 1.05 1. 1. 1. on the E. Okay, 1.05 is there. Then we're going to let go of the brakes. And let go of the brakes and go to flex. Okay, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the detent. There's flex 52. Stay on the center line. Perfect. Oh gosh. It's veering. Still cockpit. I'm not going to say anything. It's veering. Right rudder. Put in right rudder. Yeah, I am, but it's not taking until right brake. This might be a pedal disconnect problem. Yeah, it probably is. It's okay. Okay, there's V1. I can rotate or wait. Uh, I'm rotating. Rotate, rotate. There's a delay, so I can't really see it. Okay. Follow the flight director. Oh, the, the sim's got to be active to use the G key. Okay. Still You're doing F speed, so you can go to flaps one. Flaps two, then one. Follow the flight director. Flight director. I would normally be doing an outside view, but I'm not going to. <laughs> You're doing good. Yep. Okay. I'm pitching about 15 degrees. Get ready for climb uh, thrust. reduction in about 500. And I'm doing flaps after reduction. All right. There's S. There's climb, level, lever climb. I'm taking it back slowly. It says manual thrust. Yeah, adjust it there so you see climb because it looks like thrust climb. Did it? No, it went back to manual thrust. Uh, just adjust it. Adjust it. Back adjust or it. forward? I, I don't know how it's set on your detents. There's thrust climb. Don't touch it. See how it don't switches it. back? Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, you gotta. Mm, some sensitivity. Follow the flight director though, because you're in thrust climb. Yeah, flight. Well, there's no flight director because there's that discontinuity as far as. Oh, you're just saying as far as, uh, as far as speeds. I'm just gonna stay yeah. on. Midway Tower has me going straight for a little while. Yeah, but but look, look on. You need to be, pitch a little bit down here so you can increase okay. your speed. Okay, pitching down. Ten degrees. Well, follow the flight director. There you go. Now you get acceleration. There you go. Good. 180 still though. Oop, it's pitching down. Okay, now it says packs off. That's okay, yeah. Um, well, yeah, you got to follow the flight director though. But when you see. say that, you say I should go. The, gr the green crosshairs, make sure the dot. Yeah, they're really hard is. to see, but I'm on them. Oh, wait, there. Yeah, there we go. You can hit autopilot here to help you out. So. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to hit autopilot one. And I'm going to turn, on, turn on pack one heading. Okay. 
He did a good job, actually. It's Thank you. Uh, you're, you're above F speed. Pack one for a few seconds. S speed. Pack two. And uh, zero. flaps zero. Yeah, you're going to over speed soon. There okay. you go. There's flaps. All right, there's flaps. I'm going to verify flap condition zero. All right. Now I'm going to do a... I'm just going to do a, a vector right here. Well, you, you might need to turn on your engine into ice. Okay, anti-ice is down wing or just engine. Engine for now. Okay, engine anti-ice on. Yep, and look at the probe on the windshield for um, any anti icing. ice accumulation. Okay, 6,500 climbing. Speed looks good. Very good. Now I'm going to do, to do a direct, I could just do flight plan. I could just go direct and I can hit GIJ, right? Yep. Direct to insert. There and then go. I'm going to go managed. I'm in managed. Good. It's I'm already good. managed. Yep. I'm doing it. It's doing good. the turn to GIJ. It's doing the turn to GIJ. Yes, it is. <laughs> After takeoff. So uh, you should yeah. set up a camera view for the ice probe detector or whatever that thing is. Front, right outside that windshield. Oh, like a GoPro type view? Well, from the inside. Zoom yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So if I just, go, if I just zoom in, is, are you talking about that little black thing up there? Yeah, that, that's simulated. So you'll see ice build up. Oh. You'll see a little ice build up on that. Very and, cool. Um, then you turn on your wing anti-ice. Okay, we're 8,700. And then there's a t after takeoff checklist. Okay. That's, I did get a FS to crew, and one of these days I may play with that a little bit. These clouds look fantastic. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let me do just a quick flyby for some immersion effect. Let's see here. Outside flyby. Oh, yeah, baby. I did a flap street takeoff. Everybody wins. <laughs> that looks great. Hey, Zach, the pilot. How you doing, Patrick? Thank you for the applause. All right, 10,000. Would we do lights here? You can do lights. Seatbelt sign can go off. If you oh, and there's a middle. Yep. You can do a middle button there. Yep. I'm not going to turn the seatbelts off yet. Now, after takeoff no, flows off. normally, come off. Turn off life would come off. Which would come off? If you look up at the lights, I can't see behind your chair, but on the left, oh. uh, it's the runway turn off. They, I never put them, put them on. Yeah. So. And then the nose. And then above 10,000, the landing light come off. Okay. Um, and you can don't forget to turn off your engine into ice once you're above the clouds. Okay. I'm going to go through one more cloud layer. You are in open climb, not managed climb. Yeah, I am. So I just push that. No, yeah, I push that, and then that's that's managed climb, right? I don't right? think you have any restrictions on this route, and you're not on Vatim, so you should be okay with it. Okay. That's good to know, though, that I need to look for the dots on the uh, FCU. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Greg. That was fun. That I, what's going to be even better is when I get to watch that VOD over and over again and just absorb all of the information that Iron Condor Simulations has given me and also all of you. Wow. wow. There's there's a lot to learn about this plane. It's really, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you, you'll fall in love with also, it. Also, there's a shout out to Iron Condor Simulations. He's the one talking to me, guys. Please fo click on his uh, Twitch chat link and give him a follow and a notify when he goes live. Awesome information. Thank you, Mr. Fly. One day I am going to golf with him. One day. One day we will golf. Yes. Okay, 13.3 climbing. It's climbing at a nice rate, 2,100 feet. I mean, look at the weather simulation in P3D. It's, it's amazing. You shouldn't check the autopilot on the FCU. Just check it on the FMA. That's a good point. So it says climb in green, thrust climb, and it says nav, and then alt is in blue. Rather than going over here to check managed mode is what I get. I get you. I mean, obviously, in a pilot can just kind of. Who said that? You can kind of. You, you can kind of gla glance a little bit uh, over here. That's what? interesting that he said that because my instructor uh, on the G1000, uh -huh. he's like, always look at the FMA for comfort of the, the mode that you're in. So you can cross check it. Yeah. yeah. Interesting you should. he said that. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Blue. How's the Caronado 152 with the mod? Very Airbus related. I love the Nahadrian mod for the C152. In fact, I will go as far as to say it's the second best freeware mod out there. It really is the second best freeware mod 
of a payware aircraft. Mr. John Fly, I am off to downtown Chicago. Thank you for all of the lessons, and please give my apologies for the delay for your for your <laughs> lovely okay. bride. <laughs> Thanks. See you guys. It was fun. Talk Enjoy to you soon. Flight. These clouds look fantastic. I'm waiting to turn off the anti-ice. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy. Okay, you could see how the detents did have a little bit of an issue be going between manual thrust and climb thrust. So I still need to I still need to iron out those fine details. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Iron great job. Yep. All right, uh Lilo. Thank you for joining. I yeah, it'll be an interesting landing because it's a it's a very small runway at an airport that Airbuses normally don't uh, fly into. <laughs> We're getting that much closer to going to uh, Pilot Edge and Vatsim with this bird. All right, we're gonna go uh, transition altitude here in s 400 feet. You need to teach me how to fly the A320. I need to learn how to fly the A320 first before I can teach you, Elliot. But hopefully this video, this stream, and the later the VOD, and I will push it up to YouTube after 24 hours, hopefully it can help other people as well. A lot of times I help people through my, through my mistakes. But in this case, we had others helping out with uh, the instruction of this departure. Wait, you fly the bus into LBE? I thought you said you were you couldn't. I thought you said that you couldn't. Or maybe it was just the 321 that you couldn't go into LBE, but you can with the 19 or 20? Really? Oh, okay. I'm glad you clarified that information. Thank you, Stuck. Good to see you, Jason. And McLaren, thank you. Yeah, uh, I think it was Brad M., great Twitch streamer, he uh, he flew the 321 into John Wayne, and the 321 into John Wayne is 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 on the fun side of daring. <laughs> yeah. I'll do an uh, outside locked spot. Yeah, we can look at the different angles. Look at that. Would you? Wow. Unbelievable. You're going to be in the 321 in a few hours. Do you just love it? Are you? Are you really seriously sitting in that first seat and saying, you know what, I'm a lucky man. Because I, I hear a lot of pilots who are, you know, doing this for a job, they get a little disenfranchised or disheartened or, or what the, not the correct term, but maybe they're, maybe they're just taking it for granted how lucky they are to live amongst the clouds. Yeah, he's a real world pilot. Confirmed. I've heard him on the real world frequencies when I was flying with Max and Josh and Britt. I do, man. It's not a job to me. You have your days. I'm sure that you have, yeah, days where there, it's not ideal, but I'm just very envious. Well done on your progression. And I'm glad to know, I'm glad to say that I knew you. I've known you for a while and I've seen the, 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 prog the progression. Yeah. You know, Believe it or not, his uh, his uh, better half also live streamed a uh, cooking a meal. It was fantastic. Some people have to dig holes to earn a living. I get to travel and play a video game. Yeah, the Nintendo of the sky, right? Is that offensive? That word. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm currently working on my PPL. Well, good luck, Zach. I hope you uh, I hope you have fun, and I hope the simulators are are helping you. Oh yeah, disarm the spoilers. You're correct. I do need to do the uh, checklists. One thing I didn't do is check my rudder trim, but I don't know. I think that's a good, good departure. I'm going to turn off the engine anti-ice. I'm going to rewatch this VOD over and over again and learn 
and learn everything. Oh, did the Vikings win? Excellent. Who won? Who won uh, last night? The okay, so the the Texans won. The Patriots lost. Texan uh, Titans won, and Vikings won. Wow. KLBE runway is over eight thousand feet. Why would you not be able to fly an A three twenty into there? Apparently they do drone, but apparently an A three twenty one, they don't. It's and. I don't know what the minimum recommended l runway length is for landing for a 321, but apparently that two, uh, the, it may have to do also with the ramp, because the ramp at Arnold Palmer is is tight. Yeah, it's a narrow runway, making the turn onto the ramp unsafe. Plus, it's not much of a demand for that. Yeah, that, for that many people. Yeah, it's people that are going to the PGA tournament or the Latrobe Country Club, or they just don't want to fly into pit. Speaking of pit, guys. something that I saw on that. Awesome, I can't. We can reduce it to the 98. It's not comfortable. Ah, okay. Nominal width is 148 to make the 180 degree turn. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's in. He's in a A321 today. All right, we're making our way over. This is beautiful. Wow. Let's get a few other chase plane views going here. I need to work on some of these, but there's a uh, left wing rear. Our clientele loves LBE. The airport lets you park there for free. We get a lot of people f from Pittsburgh who drive to LBE. I believe one of my favorite golfers uh, also kind of jets into and out of there. Um, Jim is his, is his first name. Yeah, Jim Furyk. Jim Furyk flies into and out of there, I believe. Yeah. Yep, Furyk. Yep. I'm in the right seat for another two years or so, depending on growth and demand. Man, that's so awesome. It's really cool that uh, the Twitch community, the, that the people who do this for a living still enjoy coming in and checking out the uh, the people who are are faking it. <laughs> Does fixing my broken side tech rudder pedals make me a plane mechanic? I didn't think so. Still feels good. I will designate you a, vir a virtual plane, me a virtual plane mechanic. Yeah, absolutely. There's right front. There's left front. There's a front right. There's a front left. Here's a pan. Can I pan with this one? I can pan this way and that way. I can zoom in and out and go up and down. I'm still getting used to uh, all of the uh, different options here. We're still climbing. That's funny. All right. Uh, FMA says still thrust climb. S uh, climb is managed. We're in navigation mode and out blue. Feels good, thank you. One tiny wire, tiny wire. Yeah, I mean, I, I I have friends that don't do you know they have no interest in aviation, but they come down and they see, they see my sim pit and they like, whoa, holy hardcore. <laughs> how how old would you consider too old to think about ATP? Seriously, if you're under forty, I I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. If you're over forty, I don't know. I would say if you're under 40, you go for it. But maybe you maybe maybe higher. I don't know. I mean, in the old days, you had to start flying at 19 or 15, I think, to build up. And but but nowadays, yeah, getting their first airline job at 42. Yeah, yeah. You're never too old to to do to do you know to get to fly. But I would, you know, 
as far as a career is concerned, maybe you probably shouldn't plan on flying. I don't know. It, it, I guess it all depends on how hireable you are. Does an airline, I know they're not technically supposed to discriminate on age, but is an airline, is a regional airline going to hire a 50 year old with, you know, a thousand hours? I don't know. Maybe. Conti is here. Good day. Good day, Mike. Uh, check Discord when you get a chance. Will do. Yeah, one of my buddies at college loves my setup. We use it for training every now and then. Yeah. The, even, like I say, the non-aviation uh, folk, the muggles, the sim muggles of the world, are impressed by some of the the of our ability to simulate uh, this this hobby. Yeah. Turning 40 this year, thinking about a career change. Well, there you go. I hit the number on the head. Do it now. Do it now, Shell. Um, I'm assuming you're into Linux. I'm just, that's just a guess. Do you use VI? Or do you use Pico? Uh, would you consider doing that, what I posted last? Um, what'd you say? Um, yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Zach. Yeah. Go for it, man. Still have 25 years to fly. Yep. And they might even raise the the, the age of uh, of flying retirement. I've heard rumors of that because of the shortage. All right, let's go into uh, cinematic mode here for a moment. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, let's uh, G six ninety one. Go get the go get the PPL. If you are already, maybe you already have it. Get your instrument rating. Uh, get your commercial rating. Get your multi engine rating. And you could, I mean, there's a, probably a lot of jobs out there that you know not necessarily necessarily flying an Airbus A three eighty. Flying seems less stressful. Yeah, I I personally would do it had I not had a heart attack. <laughs> it just uh. To let's see, in 26, 20, was it 2017 that I had a heart attack or 2016? Yeah, I had a heart attack and I had a stent uh, operation. I have, I have a stent in one of my arteries, and uh, yeah, my cardiac condition has uh, prevented me from easily getting my medical. Not to mention, I also had uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, a uh, long, long, long time ago, I had cancer chemotherapy, radiation, six months of, of goodness, and um, I'm still with us. I'm still with you. Uh, so they wanted a lot of documentation on that as well. Um, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, recreational sport license was potentially in my future, but I think because the fact that they have so much documentation on me, I have to probably... Uh, get a waiver in order to do any of it. But in the meantime, I have many fine friends who allow me to fly right seat in their beautiful aircraft. So I've got I've got over a hundred hours uh, of, of flying in the right seat, and about 30, 30 hours in the left seat with an instructor. And um, I've flown everything from a Cherokee to a Skyhawk to a to a you know. Uh, 152. Uh, I've flown in Max's uh, SR22 in the right seat, um, and uh, he let me fly in his uh, Citation M2 jet. Just recently, we flew into uh, from Utah into uh, from Salt Lake to uh, Driggs, Idaho. It was I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. All right, I'm gonna look at the uh, perf page here and just see what's going on. Or the progress page. Okay, and then top of drop is in 153 miles. I never did go in the Vision Jet. No, I didn't. And isn't it fascinating that that Vision Jet had that fire that took it out based on a guy plugging his phone into an entertainment system? That it just blows my mind. Yeah, Zach, we're we're healthy and and happy now. We, yeah, as you get older, you you really start to appreciate your health. 
I, I have a few a few issues, but nothing that uh, prevents me from it, having fun with you guys. <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to check Discord. I forgot about that. Hold on. Oh, that is so beautiful, Stuck. That is so... Can I can I post the link to that, or is that private? Either way, it's fine, but... That is, that is just... That is a gorgeous picture. Wow. Wow. He'd probably come talk to me live as well if he weren't headed to the airport soon and is to go in the real world real world three twenty one. You might be going in an SR twenty two soon. Yeah, I I yeah. I've spent a lot of time in an SR I've spent the most time in an SR twenty two with Max. Fantastic time. We flew into Canada. Um we've flown we flew all the way across the country from New York all the way to Las Vegas. We spent time in New Mexico. We flew into San Diego. Uh, we've uh, flown out of Salt Lake to Idaho, as I said. We've flown all the way down the East Coast to Florida, to the Key West. Another trip, we flew to the bah uh, Bahamas. Um, Another trip, we flew down to Florida and then over to New, or New Orleans, and we've had so many adventures. And it's isn't it crazy awesome how we get a front row seat to Max's aviation life, you know, where he started as a an, a simulation pilot, got his PPL, got his instrument rating, now he's a jet type rated commercial pilot with a Citation jet. <laughs> Proud of that boy. I have flown an SR-22 Turbo. It was so much fun. Dream of an airplane. Yeah, and that's another thing. We uh, we also, Ben, Plane Ben, some of you guys know Plane Ben on Twitch and Max, and uh, I, um, we rented a an SR-22 Turbo out of Scottsdale, Arizona, and we flew up to Vegas, and it was, um, it happened to, the former, the previous owner was Ken Griffey Jr., the Hall of Fame baseball player. It was his SR-22 Turbo, and it actually had Ken Griffey-type st stuff you know, in the cockpit. It was very, very cool. But I will say that um, the, the climb performance and the overall, you know, the speed of the Turbo was great, but if, if, I, you know, if I had the opportunity to own a Cirrus, I would probably go with the normally aspirated uh, just from a, from a maintenance standpoint, and also I just the the turbo we you, you just we just I don't know the the price difference is crazy, but and also I would go with the G6 or higher because the avionics boot up quite fast. I think they moved to solid state drives or some new new way of loading the operating system for the G1000 in the G6 of the Cirrus. I don't know all the details, but I remember the G5 being a little bit slower on the boot up of the system. And you know, we want the SSD or or any speed change we can get. Never had the ple ple pleasure of the series. Closest I got to seeing is a picture of the one on my medical that your medical guy owns. Yeah, beautiful aircraft, and it's kind of comforting to know that there's a uh, a parachute above you. All right, 115 to the top of descent. Um, I'm going to show you what's left on the route. Uh, all right, we're traveling down. I'm going to go to the high end route. Uh, we're traveling from the Gerbs Waypoint. We're just passing over. Um, which lake is that? Is that? If I go up here, is that Huron or not Huron? Let's see, world map. Erie, that's Erie. Okay, I need to get more familiar. So we're just flying right over uh, your neck of the woods. Huh, virus. Not too far from here, right? Did I have that right? Do I have that right? No, you're Columbus. You're Columbus. You're down here. Same state, though. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to fly down to uh, over the south part of Lake Erie, pass over Fremont, Canton, 
south of Cleveland and then over Pittsburgh and then we're going to do a vector out and we're going to plan on ILS uh, 2-4 two, two and yeah where in, where in Florida are you? oh yeah you're asking Zach yeah you are missing Erie where I live yeah just barely coming underneath Lake Erie you live there Sparker? very cool All right, I'm going to turn the seatbelt signs off finally. <laughs> Should have done that a long time ago. Remind me to turn them back on. Brain, being in London isn't ideal for your PPL studies. That's true. It's very expensive. You know, d you follow Squirrel, right? He 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 was uh, he went through his PPL training this last little while. Got his uh, ticket and did it all there not too far from where you are. You're currently in Lancaster. If you look southeast of Columbus, family owns some property down there. Did I put you on the, the viewer map? I think I did. So here's... Here's... There's, I've been to Dayton a number of times. All right, there's Lancaster area. Very cool. It's very green out there, isn't it? Compared to Utah. The desert of Utah. Should be an interesting landing. Yeah, Squirrel on YouTube. Yep. One of my favorite streamers on on Twitch as well. So twitch.tv slash squirrel. He does mostly, um, he does a lot of truck simulation. Uh, he does some flying. He does a, a lot of simulation games. A wide range of simulation games, but he's very, very well known in the uh, trucking for sure. And he also has on, I believe he has a number of videos, yeah, on his PPL training in the UK. And he's just a fantastic guy. I hung out with him in New York. We went to, Max took, he, Squirrel and I, and, uh, and uh, Josh to, um, to a uh, Broadway play and also a Yankees game. And we went golfing. It was fantastic. I have pictures. It's a fun guy. Uh, and Squirrel can hit the ball, too, at the driving range. I did go to the Ham Fest in Dayton. Num number of years, yeah. Haven't been in a little while, but, yeah. It, it used to be at Hera Arena, but they've moved it to a better place. So, yeah. You betcha. Yeah, that's, yeah, Squirrel's where it's at. And Squirrel also did an, an excellent YouTube video on the new flight simulator. So if you haven't seen that, check that one out. Where he, get, he gives his thoughts because he was invited to go to uh, Renton, Washington, and fly it firsthand and meet with the, uh, the flight sim team. Yep. All right, 78 to the top of descent. Uh, our top of descent will be... Uh, does that show? Is that showing seventy six right there? Okay, so it'll be right there. It'll be before. It'll be seven miles before a veer. So if I go back here, and I choose the high end route map. So our top of descent. I don't see the Avere waypoint, but if I click on it there, okay, it's way, way down here. It, my top of descent can't be, I did, I did that wrong. It's got to be way before that. Oh yeah, cause it, okay, yeah, no. Top of. Okay. Go to the next page here. It's shown as a white arrow on your ND. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Use my new my new ability to zoom. 
There is the top of descent right there, the arrow. I don't necessarily need my terrain on right now. You might actually be an alpha. There you go. Go to your perf page and arrow to your descent profile and you can see what you have to set to. Okay. Yeah, Zach, I, the, 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 the pilot, the real world pilots that come into the Twitch verse um, should not disclose their airline. They kind of keep that private information, if, if that makes sense. They, I always say they fly for Janet. So let's go to perf page and then uh, descent profile. Would that be on the next page? Page. Or sorry, next phase, I mean. Let's see. Cost of X managed. Previous phase. Descent cabin rate 350. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Eleven thousand pounds of fuel still left. And another flyby. Oh, snack. So the PMDG and the FS Labs are, are here to stay for John Fly. I know you guys know that I'm an X-Plane guy, primarily an X-Plane guy, and I've decided I'm going to do a rotation. We're going to fly, we're going to, but to stay proficient in these planes, I'm going to go FS Labs, and then I'm going to go PMDG, either the 777, the 73, or the 74, and then back to X-Plane. And I might do general aviation, I might do a tube in X-Plane, and then I'll come back to P3D and then go. I'll go back and forth for a little while, but I need to do some frequent revisiting of the these products over here because if I don't, my, my mind, my memory ability, I will lose some of the intricacies and the abilities. And I want to become proficient where I can fly, you know, I, right now I feel like I can jump in most general aviation aircraft in X-Plane and, and get to where, from point A to point B. I don't have a... An issue with that, I might make a procedural error, but and I feel pretty good about the tubes that I have over there on X plane. But I'm still so new to Airbus, and and there's a few PMDG NGXU nuances, and of course I'm new to the triple seven. When I say new, I I've, I've done it for a while, but I'm just new to getting back into it. So we're, you'll see a rotation on the John Fly stream for for both. We generally will have a cost index of 30 or 99 depending on the time of year and if we are late. There you go. I I do have a really low cost index. That came from Simbrief. So, you know, just sent you a picture on Discord PMs if you want to check it out. Can I share it or what is it? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. That is so cool. That is a great picture. That looks gorgeous. I wouldn't share that publicly. They might be able to geo-reference you. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I would like to stream, but our legal department says no. Bummer. Oh, like the uh, like the medical, like your medical stuff, or your <laughs> that would be fantastic. Um, you can lower your flight time in Simbrief to push up the cost index. Oh, I can share it. Okay, well, you want me to share the deck one? That is gorgeous. Go ahead. Let's see here. That's the one you're talking about? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, I'll post it here. I think that's the right one. That's uh. That's one of the views right right now, right? You know, looks beautiful. You can lower your flight time in Simbrief to push up the cost index. That's what that's what um, I think Brad M taught me is, 
you know, rather than have it be an hour and five, change it to like 30 minutes and it'll, it'll change your, your cost index. All right, enter destination data. So I'm going to do a METAR for KLBE. I'm gonna go to the next phase. And I'm gonna go to the next phase. I'm gonna put in the QNH of two or three zero zero four. Oh, do I have to do three zero point zero four? And then the temperature is is the temperature zero zero? And the winds are two four zero at ten. Ugh. Gusting. Two four zero at ten. Oh, and that's another question I should have asked. I just I can't I keep getting confused. I keep getting conflicting reports on whether to do um MDA or DH. I think I'm gonna do M I think I'm gonna do DH to whatever the DH says, but on the ILS 2.4, we'll take a look at it. All right, I'm going to bug up the bottom of red root one. And take a look at the flight plan here. Um, we want to be at 40, 4,200. Yeah, I'll bug up 3920. No, I'll bug up 42. Change the... Forty-two. Top of descent in four miles. DH for an ILS? Okay. Yeah, so on the perf page, if I go, let's take a look at the chart. Some people have told me MDA is on cat two, cat two, and some people have said no. I, I, I I'm, I'm, again, I get conflicting reports. Uh, but some, something has something to do with radio altimeter or not, rather than, you know. All right, so we're doing the ILS two four. Uh, let's just simulate a, an ILS. So it says the DH. Okay, so it says 1345 is the DA, and the height is 200. So just for everyone's educational purposes, if I'm doing this, it says, again, 1345 and then 200 on the DH. Do I put in the 1345 or do I put the 200? Because I put the 1345 in the in the DH. D A M D A right yeah. We use D H only for cat two and three. Okay, see right there. So Stuck is saying D H for I L S, and Ed Force Five is saying thirteen forty five for M D A. So which one do I put in? I'm gonna descend. Okay, so now we're in descent. Thrust is going to idle. So do I th put 1345 in the... Finish the sentence, Shook. Is it so 1345 in the MDA? Or in the DH? Or two... <laughs> See why? Sorry for my ignorance. Some People have told me so many times what it is, and then other people's maybe... Professor Binkleton, how are you doing? That three, that golden three next to your name looks fantastic. All right, we're now descending. I'm going to put the seatbelt signs on early. You're putting in the DH in the MDA data field. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I'm getting confused because I always thought the DH was in the DH. So next phase, you're putting the DH in the D. We input the DH in for the cat two or cat three. Okay, there we go. All right, so 13, thank you, Ed Force 5 and Stuck, 1345. 
in the MDA. There we go. I think we're all good to go. And then I need, I, th I assume that the uh, IELTS frequency is automatically entered 110.9, but we'll double check that in the NAVRAD page. Yeah, 110.9 on the course of 236. Perfect. Let's brief the missed approach. Um, climb to 2,000, then climbing right turn to 5,000. Direct AGC VOR and hold. All right. We need to be at Zinta waypoint at 3,900. And then Poser at, uh, when it says GS2584, GS Okay, so 2584 at Poser. Okay. 3900 at Zinta before we do our capture. So I will put in 39. I'm going to select. Do I select the LS button already? Okay. That can't be right. It's picking up an ILS for somewhere else, I think. Because I'm not that close to the airport. Or maybe I am. Oh, snack. No, I can't be that close. Hmm. Uh, let's put it on the on this side. It will populate the mins. No, it was giving me an actual DME distance to the localizer for a second. And I was like, what? And it was a lot closer than I thought. So I, I think there was an there's another localizer in this on the same frequency. Turn off the autopilot and hand fly the bird? Heck no. Not yet. <laughs> I'm also going to do a... F well, yeah, no. Go to your prog page. All right, prog page. There we go. Vertical deviation plus 2,800. That doesn't sound good. On your FMA column four. One, two, three, four. On the fourth column, it says MDA, 1345. Your high is what it, that's saying. Yeah. Now input your airport and runway in into this page. Oh, really? Where? One, two, three, four. Uh, bearing and distance. In the TO. Okay. So, um, and I'm going to do that KLBE24, right? So, KLBE. E two four right there. Oh, that is so cool. Fifty eight miles. I'm high, that's why. But it's okay, we're going down and around. That is so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Stuck. Wow, that is cool. I'm gonna have to remember that. Take my memory vitamins. I like that. So that again is in, to recap, that is in Prague. Okay. So if I go back here to flight plan and I go to Prague, there it is. And you can do that, I guess you can do that to any waypoint, huh? That will be handy. The 3 1 rule. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the descent. Yep. We're going to do some vectors. I do not have the FS Labs yet, but it is on the to, to, to get list. This is so informative. Fresno J, I'm learning so much. 
I'm happy that you're learning it as well, and I'm happy that we have such patient people to help me and teach me. I love just pretending... I love just pretending that I have any clue of what is going on on this plane. I'm lucky to correctly do a direct in a G1000. Saying, Wilbrick, I fake it until I make it, and then I don't make it most of the time. That sounds like a... That sounds like a country song, almost. All right, we're going to set uh, standard pressure. I'm also going to go a little bit early with my lights, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can walk you through a little more in-depth procedures and cool stuff. I would love, would you, can you come on, be it, you'll be anonymous, of course, but you could come on Discord Voice sometime, right? That is a Dwight Yoakam song for sure. I agree, St. Wolfric. I agree. Could throw out some speed breaks to catch up back up profile. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my new middle mouse button that I programmed in. Where is it? There it is. All right, let's do some speed breaks. Do half, maybe, or what do you think? You, you can? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you have the Aerosoft one? I've heard, I've heard some quality things about the Aerosoft one. But I think you're seeing that there's a, a, a level of detail here that uh, that may not be in other other uh, platforms. Fun fact: the 319 and the 321 will give you full uh, with will give you give you full with the autopilot on. 320 will only do half. Oh, on the speed on this on the speed brakes. Ooh, you would use full if I'm a high. Okay. I'm going to try to do that. Uh, all right, full there. I don't mind being high for this situation. Okay, standard uh, pressure is coming off. And I'm going to set this barrel. I'll set the barrel again on final. And um, I'm also going to turn on some lights, even though it may not be applicable to do it at this level I'm still doing it and I'm also going to I'm gonna, I just prematurely set the uh, auto brake to medium normally you do that a little bit later in the flight but I'm a one man operation today so alright we're making the turn here at Avair Everything look, looks good. Pretty soon we'll we'll sync up the. We'll just go into heading mode. Actually, you can also also use the spoilers with flaps one and two on the 321, and on the 320 can be used one three. Oh, you can also use the spoilers with flaps one and two. And it has that's okay. So it's on one to three. Wow. Oh, I'd love to chat with you live, Stuck. That would be so fun. That would be fantastic. Maybe maybe sometime this month or next. I think yeah, the, I think you're you're right, Fresno J. It's it's yeah, good foundation. And really I haven't I was avoiding this plane for a couple of reasons and uh, mostly because I was mostly an X-Plane guy, right? I don't get me wrong, I love the F Fly Factor 320 and the Tolas 319, but this this and and again, in full disclosure, I did not buy this plane. It was donated to me by two viewers. Uh two viewers donated this plane to me. An another don donator donated um several several other things that got me back into P3D, so yeah. Silent Hunter, could I also join? I think that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. I uh uh That would be fantastic. I appreciate. It. I thought I saw some direct messages from you on Discord. I will um I will take take a look at those and I appreciate all the information and 
we can have a conversation and then we can even have a bunch of us sitting there sitting around chit chatting about bussing. And then I'm gonna jump into Boeing. <laughs> yeah. You also want to select the speed at ten thousand and then confirm and activate on the perf page. Select the speed at what do you so change the uh let's see here. Flight plan right here, it says two five zero at ten thousand. You'll also notice the VAP move quite a bit on your approach with these gusty winds. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to change my range here. That is called ground speed mini. There we go. A bit of a panel discussion with true Airbus pilots, right? Shell script? Yeah, get Telwest in here as well. Maybe get the European perspective. I don't know what uh, country or continent or planet or providence is uh, Silent Hunter, where you are located. Are you in, in, in North America? Or are you in Europe or Asia or wherever? I didn't catch it if you said earlier. Oh, you're from Costa Rica, even better. So we have a Costa Rican uh, perspective and uh, an SOP from there. You're from there? Are you based there now or you based elsewhere? That's so cool. I would like to go to Costa Rica. And I'll tell you why. I want to do ham radio from Costa Rica. I want to rock the Tango India call sign. Federal, you know, issued from the Costa Rican government. And I have, there's some big properties down there that have gigantic ham radio antennas. And I want to go down there and play. And then have a, a local beverage or two. All right, I'm back on profile, boys. I am back on profile. I'm also going to put on some anti-ice. Would you guys do engine and wing? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Speed brakes. Uh-oh. Oh. In fact, I'm going to even arm them prematurely. Bring my ND down to 10 miles. And actually, I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into heading mode here. Oh, I do a, a that click. And I'm going to go on heading uh, 070 for a moment. Okay, 070. Actually, maybe a little bit more. Zero six zero for a moment. So at ten thousand the speed bug, then you can activate the approach. Oh, so activate the approach at ten thousand. I thought you'd activate it at the initial approach fix, but I did it at ten thousand already. I'm already at ten thousand. I might die. Jack, Russians, we're going to find, <laughs> I was going to do some hunt for October quotes, but I got to stay, I got to stay on focus here. I will appreciate one of you guys being on with me live to talk me through this proper procedure here as well. Um, it wants me at 250. I'm going to slow down manually. So if I do that, if I take control of the speed, I can just rotate that speed bug down. I'm, I'm just going to go slow, just just because. So there's 180 on the speed. You would use engine only unless you noticed it on the wing. All right. I should get the wing view uh, on a shortcut key. Oh, I'm in V. Oh, that's right, because of the FMA. You're right. Never mind. Okay, we're doing open descent. I should be an open climb or open descent. Okay, yeah. All right. 
We're fine. I'm just going to go out a little bit further before I vector in. What would be the symptom if, if you didn't have, if you had it off? Or sorry, if you had it on and you ne didn't necessarily need it. Would there be any symptoms that would that would be present? All right, I need to be at 4,200 or 39 at Igaki. All right, I'm just going to go direct Igaki. Yeah. Now, I know it put it back into managed uh, navigation mode, but can I go ahead and just hit this localizer button? And it should uh, potentially pick up that localizer. Maybe. You don't have missed. Oh, you don't have missed approach performance. Uh, okay. I'm not. Do I hit? Do I do hit APR now? How come? Oh, there we go. It won't let me arm both of them until I capture it. I think I won't arm. I won't hit the APR button until I capture it. Kithrick, how you doing? The most critical reason to why we don't use it unless needed. Okay. I don't have to hit the APR. Then it'll let you do both. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what that button means. All right, now I'm going to do flaps one. Isn't this beautiful? All right. Uh, it says S, so can, that's flaps one, right? So pretty soon it's going to give me the ability to go to two, I think. I'm going to miss a few things as I'm on final here. but All right, so the FMA says Cat 3 Dual, Auto, Nav, Loc, 2500. 2500. And we need to be at Zinta at 3900, so we're good. So here I can just go back to manage speed, right? Yeah. I should be checking the FMA, I know. I don't do anything with the altitude, right? I don't do anything with the... I don't put a dot on the altitude, right? There's 180. It's going to have me 169 at Zinta. Okay. And then pretty soon it should... I don't know if this one has DME on it or not. It may not, huh? Because I like having the DME distance, but... Oh, there it is. There's the capture. GS in blue, that is your FF VFE speed. But it will not capture until you are on the loc. Okay. You guys are awesome. This is, this is fantastic. You're predicting fire, St. Wilfrick. I'm with you, man. Set missed approach altitude. Mr. Approach Altitude is climbing 2,000. So we'll come over here and we'll bug up 2,000. Which doesn't seem right because the airport elevation is 1,200. <laughs> oh, and then there's a... Okay, climbed to 2,000. Why does it say climbed to 2,000 then climbing right turn to 5,000? Why don't they just say climbed to 5,000? That's weird. Flaps 2. Speed checks, right? I'm about 12 miles out, I think. I could do that whole distance in the prog page, huh? I'm going to set the barrel again. Okay, the uh, the F, okay, the F on here. I can go flaps uh 3 or full. Yeah. All right, I'm going gear down. It doesn't want you to turn before 2,000. Ah, okay. F is the speed that it... Okay, okay. All right, so... All right, so I can go dirty early. Not early, but early-ish. 
Man, this is low viz. That's chowder. That's right, St. Wilfric. You won't slow until you configure. All right. It says I'm a little bit above. Hmm. Yeah. I'm... This is crazy. I'm getting all situated. I'm my cup of coffee. That, yeah, what's the RVR? Uh, I don't know. Um, here's the METAR. What's that little jagged line on the uh, ND? It says 10 statute mile overcast 22. Okay. You'll break out at about 100 feet. Okay. This should be good looking. This is a small runway. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Heart rate. What is my, my heart rate? Is my heart rate really that high? It says my heart rate's 117. There we break. We broke out. That is a high heart rate. I'm not sure if that's correct. 2,000. Stay on target. Gorgeous. Look at the. Look, don't get distracted by the the beautiful countryside. Do not get distracted, Captain. I know, I sound her, I know, I know, I know. Manage descent shouldn't be there. Mm, what do you mean? Uh-oh, I'm dead. Are you pedaling under the desk? Oh, do I have to program in any sort of situation here? No, I don't. Okay. The pigtail, it means that it's calculated a spot in which the airplane captures the path. Oh, okay. Hello, Latrobe Country Club. I love you, and I bet you there's a lot of snow on the ground, and I'm not simulating that right now. Uh, spoilers, I believe, are armed already. Yeah, they're armed, right? With the white... I believe. Yeah, landing lights are on. Yep. Uh, Turn-offs are not on. Maybe I should turn those on. I don't know. Oh. 1,000. Maybe I should put the nose light on? I don't know. Did you turn your settings up? Uh, for it's going, it's it's fluctuating between twenty and forty frames. It's weird. It's really weird. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna focus sterile cockpit. I'm gonna look at chat. I lied. Hello, chat. Engine anti ice off. Thank you. Thank you, Pab Blue. This is a small runway. Five hundred. Okay, autopilot off. Four hundred. Follow the flight director. The, the I should follow the hundred above. Two hundred. Minimum. Landing. One hundred. Says I need to get a little bit to the right. 50. Whoa. 40. 30. 20. Retard. Five. Retard. Definitely landed on the... On the, uh... Le on the right side of center line, so... Apologies. Oh, I can see why the 321 doesn't go in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? I need to do the, uh, I need to do the, uh, pedal disconnect. Yep, there we go.
You can press comma. Oh, for what? It will disconnect them for you. Oh, comma will do the uh, the, the, the tiller lock. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to remember that. All right. I need to stop here for a second. I should get off the runway, though, first. Let's stop here. I'm going to set the parking brake for just a moment. All right. Let me just clean up a little bit here. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it could have been worse, right? <gasps> the land lights were off. <sighs> my bad. Landing lights. I, I, ha I, had them, I had them reversed in my head. I, will turn I won't even turn the taxi light on. We're fine. Uh, Seatbelt sign. Stay on. I'm going to clean up. The flaps. Yeah, I had no lights on. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> if you have S FSUI. Oh, crap. I thought I had my parking brake on. <laughs> Should start the EPU as well. Let's look over here. Yeah, we'll go park over there. I think normally you'd start your APU. Hit the master switch, get it brewing. I can clear the uh, ECAM memo. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to test that comma also. Uh, comma, here we go. Yes. Comma. Thank you for the tip. There we go. Time to head to PE. <laughs> Hot braking. I don't know. I don't think I had hot braking. I think I I didn't have hot braking because I used mostly reversers. Or did I? It is a very tiny runway. Yeah. Um. It is narrow. Mm hmm. If you have FSU IPC, you can set the joystick button to the comma for your tiller. That's actually not a bad idea. I could do that. Yeah. You can set it as a sticky or not. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's why I don't like the Airbus. They, they, they call you, yeah, that, that's, you don't need to say that, SK McConnell. Uh, make sure your rudder is neutral before activating tiller or it will stay in that lock position. That's a good tip. Um, yeah, it's zero. That's good. You turned on probe heat override, didn't, oh, oh did I? <coughs> Actually? I thought I just hit master switch. Hmm. I left to go grab a snack and miss the landing. Well, there's a, there's always the VOD. I don't know where JetBlue would potentially park here, but... Oh, there's a gate. <laughs> there's a gate. I'm going to turn off... I'm going to turn off my lights. I want to look at something. That's an American gate, so I'm not going to take that gate. I'm going to be a... Oh, my parking brake toggle's acting a little funky. Do they have a HUD? That's a good question. There's actually people walking around the... Yeah. Altimeter setting is 3001. It now changed to 3002. The first sign of being a snack here. <laughs> Let's go grab a snack. Oh. All right, APU gens are on automatically, right? Actually, it says. Yeah. Seatbelt signs can come off. All right, would you guys like to see a replay? of the landing before I bring out the uh, landing gear. I'm not going to fully shut down the aircraft until we do a replay. I'll, I'll do one. I, I know it wasn't a great landing, but it was because it was definitely right of center, but I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Chase plane replay window. Show the replay window. All right. Let me scoot the plane back. Here we go. Now let's get a outside view. Oh, barking dog. The 
PTU, baby. That's so cool. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around too much. That's kind of a cool view for a little bit. It's the airport scenery. What is? What 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 about the scenery? Ah, nose is a little high there. Yeah. Definitely, definitely right of center. That actually sounds like I'm sitting there. The engine sounds. Oh, Project Fly. Crap. Wasn't a very good Project Fly that time. Still not bad as you learn the plane. Thank you. Thank you, Iron Condor. Oh. Take it back just a little bit here. The first landing rate was lower than that, wasn't it? It was like 60-something. That's a loud sound, isn't it? All right, we're gonna do one more view uh, from two, three. Take the plane back there, and then I'm gonna switch the view around. And then it's interesting that it, where'd my plane go? Oh, right there. <laughs> Woo! Oops. We should see it land over us. Oh, no. Yeah. Still learning the camera views. Not the, uh, not the, uh, the best, um, airport in the world, but it's free. This is a free airport for Ar Arnold Palmer KLBE. And you've got a gate, and you've got moving people, and it's free. Oh, baby. I'm going to call GSX now. <sighs> I guess I can do this, right? How do I turn them off here? The clicks aren't working for them. Oh, because I'm in replay mode? Yeah. Maybe. No. It's not letting me turn off the engines here, because normally I hold it and then click and bring down. It's like it's in a pause mode or something. It's weird. I can lift it up, but I can't turn them off right now. I wonder if the replay mode affected my plane. I think it did. Ah. It was just in pause. All right, plane's coming shutting down. I know they're just reminding you to reduce the throttle, but just don't like the call. Yeah, I just don't even acknowledge that that uh that reference. I just Yeah. It's not their intent cuz that's not even the Yeah. But yeah, I hear I hear you. I would just rather just avoid the subject altogether so it doesn't bring light to it. Uh, still not bad as you learn. Yep, thank you. The Airbus, yep, can be very hard at the beginning, but it, very, then it's, yeah, I think, again, I just need, um, I need uh, time with it. All right, should we use American Airlines deplaning? Sure. 
Oh, wait, there's the next page. Uh, JetBlue's not even here. Uh-oh. I could do worldwide worldwide flight services. Oh, it did something by default. It did that. What was this airport made by the No, I don't know who made it, but it's an Orbex free airport. So if you download the Orbex Global Airport Pack and then you go to this website, I'm going to show you guys a website that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so here we go. Uh, this website it shows all of the Orbex freeware and payware worldwide. Look at all that freeness, right? Because we know that P3D doesn't come with a lot of great global default airports. So um, here is the URL that will allow you Latrobe in one hour. Are you joining, Cajun? Lunch is on me. So anyway, what I did is I just I just found this airport. I just I went okay. I'm gonna take off from Midway. I need to find an airport that's about three or four hundred miles away. So I just started clicking on stuff, and I'm like, "Ooh, KLBE, Arnold Palmer Regional. Let's go there. We have a little bit of scenery, right?" I don't know who made it though. Who made the airport for Orbex? But I mean, Orbex did obviously, but maybe they had a a developer helping them. So let me see how this looks on the outside. Oh, that's cool. I've got to open the doors manually, don't I? So if I go down here, does this, okay, here we go. Um, options, doors, left forward, left aft, right? There we go. It was probably Neil, okay, very cool. 